What's up guys, GT here. So we all love that grand lush delay. We all want that high feedback and we want that high mix so that our delays kind of stand out and our solos kind of stand out in the mix. But when we do that kind of stuff, we always get that problem when we play really fast runs, our delay repeats kind of start mixing up with our playing. And if you play parts like this, you can hear that the delay is kind of really you know, interfering with your playing and it's gonna make your playing sound really muddy. So to fix that sort of a problem, what you can use is a ducker delay or a ducking delay. In this video, I'm gonna show you how exactly you can do that. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's kick it off. The ducking feature is kind of available on almost all delay blocks. You could in fact use a ducking delay, a delay itself, which has some pre-baked ducking options. But in this case, I'm gonna be using a digital studio and showing you how you can do it from scratch. You wanna go into the tone slash duck section and focus Focus on these three knobs over here the ducker attenuation the ducker threshold and the ducker release what is the ducker attenuation the ducker attenuation is the amount of db you want the repeats to reduce in volume when you're playing and crossing a specific threshold so if i set this to around 20 db what i'm telling is that when i'm playing really fast or when i'm crossing that minus 40 db threshold which i would if i was playing really fast i want the ducking to kick in and I want the repeats to go down in volume. So if I play something like this now again, so you can hear that when I was playing that really fast run, the delay was not interfering as much as it was doing before when I played that same part again. That's because the ducker kicks in and reduces the level of the delay repeats in the background. You can set the ducker threshold as per your taste, but if you heard carefully, the delay kind of kicked in as soon as I start playing. That's where the ducker release comes into play. So if you want a more smoother transition of the delay repeats and you don't want them to jump in volume suddenly, you can change the ducker release to a slightly higher number like 100 milliseconds and then the de delay repeats will sort of, sort of kind of kick in more smoothly. So if I play this now. So you can hear that when I was playing really fast or I was playing really loud, then the ducker kind of kicks in. And when I stop playing, the ducker kind of kicks off and the delay repeats are much more louder. That's pretty much it. Follow for more tips and let me know in the comment section below what more tips would you like me to cover in this two minute tutorial series. And until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you stay safe guys. Keep rocking. Cheers. Bye bye.